You may have heard that the search for COVID-19 vaccines and antibodies is being done much faster than normal. This is true, but we're not cutting any corners or skipping any steps. Our primary concern is the safety of the people who join our studies. Before people join studies that test vaccines or antibodies, Scientists thoroughly test them in the laboratory and in animals. Scientists use information from these studies to decide if the vaccine or antibody should be tested in people. We only move ahead with studies in people if the animal studies show that the vaccine or antibody appears to be safe. We also find out if the vaccine or antibody improves animals' ability to fight the virus. Scientists also use what they already know about other viruses and other vaccines. This helps them to understand this new virus better. And that may help them understand whether the vaccine or antibody will be safe and effective in people. In some cases, researchers can take an approach that's been used for another virus and change it in ways that might work to fight this new one. In this way, we can build on what has already been learned from past studies. When scientists test a vaccine or antibody in people, they always do so in three main steps or phases. In phase one, we test the vaccine or antibody in a small group of people to make sure it appears safe. The goal of phase two is to make sure the vaccine looks safe and that we have what we think is the dose that could be most effective. Phase two studies are done after phase one studies have shown that the vaccine or antibody appears to be safe. In phase two studies, we test the vaccine or antibody in a few hundred people to see if there are any safety concerns that were not seen in phase one. Phase two studies also help us decide how much and how often we should give the vaccine or antibody. The studies we are doing now are phase three, so we have already completed these first two very important steps to get to phase three. And that's where we are now. And it's why we need your help to volunteer. In these studies, we will enroll thousands of people. We don't start a phase three study until the US Food and Drug Administration and an independent group of scientists and doctors review the information from the studies that have already been done. They look at information about the safety in people and animals. And they look at the information from people's blood and nasal samples to see if they think that the vaccine or antibody might protect people from getting the virus. The phase three study cannot start without the approval of this independent group called the Data Safety Monitoring Board. They watch over the study until it's finished. Just like we do in the earlier studies, in phase three studies, we also keep a close eye on safety across the thousands of people who join. We also look to see if the vaccine or antibody actually prevents people from getting sick or if it can help to prevent people from developing such severe illness. Before a person joins a study, they talk with a clinic staff member. The clinic staff member tells them about what we know about the vaccine or antibody so far, including information about safety. The clinic staff member will answer any questions the person might have. Even after a person joins a study, if we learn anything new, the clinic staff member will tell everyone who's already in the study or those who have expressed interest in joining. COVID-19 has impacted all of us. To stop the virus, we urgently need a vaccine or antibody for prevention. We need to work quickly, but not at the risk of anyone's safety. When scientists develop a vaccine or an antibody, they usually don't start phase two studies until the phase one studies have finished, and they don't start phase three studies until after the phase two studies have ended. Normally, the time in between phase one and phase two is several months, and between phase two and phase three can be a year or more. This time is needed for planning and raising money to do the large study. With COVID-19 vaccines, these time periods have been greatly reduced. Everyone involved, including the FDA, is working seven days a week to make sure data are reviewed as soon as they're available. Importantly, the manufacturing procedures that are required to go from small to large batches of vaccines are being compressed and they are being paid for by the United States government so that companies do not have to raise money for these large trials. In the search for a COVID-19 vaccine or antibody, we are overlapping some of the steps instead of doing them one after the other, but we aren't skipping any of the steps. Oh, and remember that I told you about the independent group of scientists and doctors that oversee the studies? They are just one of many groups that keep an eye on studies while they're in progress, all the way until the studies end. Everyone involved in these studies is committed to the safety of the people who join.